Good afternoon, all. So today we'll study the next part from the unit number one. Yeah, the next part is keywords. So we'll study about the keywords. Keywords are nothing but these are the reserve words from the Python that cannot be used as the identifiers. Identifiers are nothing but variables or functions name or uh, class name, class. Okay, these are the identifiers. So keywords are nothing but these are the reserve words that cannot be used as identifier. These reserve words have proper definition, have different definition in Python. Okay, so here some examples are given from the keywords like and, break, for, pass. All of these are the keywords which are used within the Python and these are the reserve words. They are called as a reserve words because for each and every keywords are having different definition in Python. Okay. You cannot use them as a variable name or as a function name or as a class or class name. Okay. Now we'll move to the next topic. Next topics are nothing but the operators in Python. So here operators are nothing but these are the symbols that are used to perform mathematical or the logical manipulations. So here first type of the operators are arithmetic operation, operators. In arithmetic operators, these are the some operators or the symbols which we are using in the arithmetic, arithmetic operators. First one is addition, subtraction, then the multiplication, after that the division, this one is the floor division and the modulus. We will study all of these arithmetic operators by using IDLE first. So here suppose x is one variable and the value for that x variable is 12 suppose. And second one variable is y suppose and the value for that y variable is 10. So if you want to perform the addition, you can perform it like this x plus y. So it will print the value of x plus y, 12 plus 10, 20, 22 will be printed. If you want to perform subtraction here, you can perform it x minus y. It will give you the um, subtraction of these two numbers. Likewise, you can perform multiplication as well as the division of these two num variables or the numbers. Okay, so after dividing x by y, you will get the value 1.2 here. Next one is x floor division y. Floor division is nothing but what? It will give you integer quotient after dividing x value by the y. So after dividing x by y, you will get the value 1.2. After performing floor division of these two, you will get the integer quotient here. Okay? So it will give you one value. Only. Next one is x modulus y. Modulus y is nothing but what? It will divide the value of x by the y. And whatever the remainder you will get, that remainder will be printed. After dividing x by y, you will get the remainder 2 here. So 2 will be printed here. Okay. So all of these are the arithmetic operators. Next operator is relational operators. Relational operators are nothing but less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Okay. So we'll study these operators by using IDL here. So if you are printing like this x less than y. Now the value of x is 12 and the value of t, uh, y is 10. So in this case the value of x is greater than y. So if you are printing x less than y, it will give you the output either true or the false. Okay. So in this case, this value is x value is not less than y. So it will give you false value here. If you are printing like this, x value is greater than y, it will give you the true as the value of x is 12, which is greater. If you are writing like this, x less than or equal to y, in this case, both the conditions are false. So because of this, it will give you output false. If you are doing like this, and you are using this uh, greater than or equal to operator. In this case, x is greater than y. So first condition is true. x is not equal to y, but x is greater than y. So it will give you value true. Here. If you are printing that x is equal to y, in this case, 
both the values are different so it will gives you false output if you are using not equal to x is not equal to y this condition is true x is 12 and y is 10 so this one is true it will gives you output true here. now we will study the next types of operator which are the assignment operator in assignment operator subtraction and the assignment operator is used addition and assignment multiplication and assignment division and assignment okay so we'll study this assignment operator by using ideally okay here suppose the value of x is equal to 12 again and the value of y variable is 10 suppose now we'll check the first one first assignment operator is um, addition or addition and the assignment operator so if you are performing like this x plus equal to 1 the meaning of this one is x is equal to x plus 1 okay if you are writing like this x plus means addition and the assignment operator if you are using both of these operator and after this you have taken one here means the system will perform like this x is equal to x plus 1 So now the value of x is equal to twelve. It will add one uh, number in it. And the value of x now it will become thirteen. We'll check it whether it is giving you the thirteen value or not. Okay. So here the value of x is thirteen. Likewise, you can perform the subtraction and assignment operator now. Y minus equal to two. Yes. Here you are going to perform it like this. Y Is equal to y minus two. Okay. So now we'll check it whether it is giving you this ten uh, minus two means eight output. Yes, the eight output will be printed. Okay. Likewise, you can perform division as well as floor division and the multiplication. And this one is an exponent. Exponent is nothing but like. If you are printing like this, x raised to two, the value of x is thirteen here. Thirteen raised to two, exponent will be used. Exponent operator is used. Thirteen raised to two, the value will be one sixty nine. So one sixty nine will be printed here. Okay. Now we'll move to the next operators. Next operators are nothing but logical operator, and or and not. Okay. These are the logical operators. So in this case, and is nothing but what? Two conditions are given before and one condition will be there after and another condition will be there. If both the conditions are true, then it will gives you the output true. If both the con if any condition is false, then it will gives you output false. Here. Okay. In case of or also, the two conditions will be used. First one and the second one. If either the condition is true, it will gives you a true output here. Okay, we'll study about it by using ideally. Okay, so here in this case, we'll consider the two variable. The value of a variable is twelve, suppose, and the value of m variable is equal to ten, suppose. Okay, now we'll perform that. And op operator for the and operator here the first condition is like this suppose a is greater than b and a is equal to equal to ten okay these two conditions are there here in this case the value of a is equal to twelve and the value of b is equal to So in this case, the value of a is twelve and the m is ten. So first condition is true, but the second condition, value of a is equal to equal to ten, this condition is false. So in case of and operator, what we need to check here, the both the values, this one, this condition, if this condition is giving you true output and this condition is giving also giving you the true output, then and then only and operator will give you the true output here. If any of this condition is giving you the false value here, then the AND operator will give you false value. Okay. So in this case, first one is true, but the second one is false. 
and because of this you will get the output false here now we'll check the same values same condition for the and operator a is greater than m or a is equal to equal to 10 so in this case the first one is true and the second one is a second one is a false here so in case of or if either the condition is true either this one is true or this one is true then the or operator will give you true output here so in this case the first one is true and the second one is a false but and in case of or operator it will check whether either the condition is true either first one is true or the second one is true it will give you true output here so here as the first condition is true it will give gives you the output true here it will gives you output false only when both the conditions are giving you a false output so we'll check it here the first condition is true and the second one is false or will gives you true output now the not operator not operator to not if you have taken the condition like this a is greater than m here in this case a is greater than m this condition is true not it will gives you the reverse output of it so true it will gives you the false output and if you are taking the value of a is equal to equal to 10 this condition will give you a false output but if you have used not operator here it will reverse the out value reverse the output of this one so the output of this one is false and not means it will give you not of false means true true will be printed here. okay now we'll move to the next uh, operator next operator is bitwise operator bitwise operators are we have already studied about it no. Will in previous videos I have already discussed about the bitwise operator. Okay, so here in description we'll send the link of that bitwise operator. So all of you please go through it so that you can understand base bitwise operator. So now we'll move to the next operator. Next one is identity operator. An identity operator is an is is not these two operators are used. It is mainly used to check whether that value is present or not. We'll check it by using the IDL. So is operator is nothing but this operator. It is mainly used to check whether the two variables are located on the same part of the memory or not. So here suppose the value of two different variables we'll consider here. A. n is one variable for the n value is 12 next one is q variable for the q value is 12 again so if you are checking here by using the is operator is operator n is q so in this case both of them are having the same value both the variables are having the same values and because of this it will give you either true or false here value as both of them are having the same value, it will give you the true, true output here. If I am going to print it like this, is not. Is operator is mainly used to check whether both the variables are located, are associated with the same memory or not. Okay, same value or not. So here n is not q. So in this case, it is a false. As both of them are having the same value, it will give you the false output here. Okay. Now we'll move to the next operator. Next one is membership operator. In membership operator is in and the not in. These two variables are there. So in this case, in membership operator, in operator, it will return the value true only if the sequence with the specified value is present in the object. If that value is present in the object, then and then only it will give you the true output. And if that sequence is not present in the object, then it will give you the value false here. Okay. So here we'll consider the one example. A suppose 
hello world okay so in a variable we have taken one string hello world and we'll check whether the hello string is present within the a or not hello in a so it will check whether that this string hello string is present in a variable hello is present here in a, a variable so this sequence is present in the variable in the object and because of this it will gives you true output here now if you are checking it for the capital h same word we have taken but capital h is taken here so here in the a variable small h is there here we have taken the capital h and this value this string is not present this sequence is not present in here and because of this it will gives you false value okay same for the not in so capital h hello not in a if you are checking it for the not in variable not in means it will check whether the sequence is not present in the a variable if it is not present in the a variable then it will gives you true output and if it is a present then it will gives you the false output here this hello is not present in a and as we have used not in it will gives you the true value here as this variable this sequence is not present in the a variable so it will gives you true output okay so so here we have studied this operators operators in, in python all of these seven operators are completed thank you